For those that are new to the world of audio file turntables or turntables in general, the initial setup can be a little confusing. With the parts, accessories, and especially the needle or stylus being very fragile, it is best to know what you're doing before proceeding. For music hall and project turntables, the setup is very similar, and while the models have slight variations, the principal functions are generally universal. First, we recommend making sure your space is clear of clutter and you find and lay out all accessories needed for the task. We will start with the tone arm counterweight. Please note, Keep in mind the tone arm and cartridge are the most fragile parts of the turntable and should be handled with the utmost care. Secondly, this adjustment process is for stock components. If you decide to replace the cartridge for another, the weight could be different from what is shown in the video. Place the counterweight on the back of the tone arm with the number dial or down force scale facing towards the front of the deck. Next you want to unlock the tone arm from the armrest and place the tone arm between the platter and the tone arm rest. Now your goal here is to have the tone arm balance perfectly, also known as zeroing the tone arm. And the easiest way to think of this is of a scale or seesaw. If the tone arm is pulling down in the front, there isn't enough weight on the back, or vice versa. We want to bring the counterweight to a resting point that makes the entire tone arm hover in perfect balance. Once the tone arm is balanced, return it to the armrest and without moving the counterweight, turn the dial or downforce scale ring until the number zero is in line with the anti-skate rod. Now we turn the entire counterweight to adjust to the recommended downforce according to the manufacturer. For popular turntables including Project's Debut Carbon, Project's Essential, and Music Hall's MMF 2.2, adjust the entire counterweight to 17.5 grams, which is just between the 17 and 18 on the dial. Now that we've set the downforce, we need to determine the anti-skating force. For this and the aforementioned turntable models, we need to slip the loop of the anti-skating weight's thread over the second groove of the anti-skating rod. Once you're done with this, feed the thread through the loop of the wire anti-skating hanger support. Once the anti-skate weight is in place, your turntable is now properly adjusted for optimized sound. If you have any questions, please give us a call or shoot us an email. We are glad to help.